how do you get a freelance visa in Dubai? I'll tell you my story. Uh, it began in, I think, February 2021. That's when I found out about Dubai Media City and that they give out uh, a residence uh, at their space to freelancers. Uh, and at that time, uh, it was a great coincidence. I was planning to travel uh, to Dubai in April. So I emailed them in advance and then once I was uh, here, I scheduled a meeting uh, with uh, them. I met a manager there, his name is Mohammed. So he told me everything, all the steps were clear and I managed to do all the process online. So all the costs and prices I will put down uh, below so you can look at it. And just a quick disclaimer, guys, I'm not certified to consult in immigration and in uh, documentation thing. I'm just sharing my experience and the costs are also only applicable to Dubai Media City to me. So the whole process took me around four to five months, but you can do it in less, like you can do it in three months. Uh, because I was planning a trip during that period of time and also unfortunately my granddad had a COVID and he passed away so I had to stay back home for a longer period of time. So at the beginning I applied online, I think it happened in May 2021 um, and I paid 7,000 dirhams for the uh, license. So Dubai Media City allows you to have up to three uh, speci specialities for uh, your freelancer visa. For me, I chose public relations manager, social media manager and blogger, uh, influencer. At that time, I didn't know I'm going to do any YouTube videos or whatever. I just felt like the intuition told me, uh, go for blogging thing. That's which I did. So I hope um, it will work out very well. So after getting a freelance license, I had to apply for the establishment card. Uh, it cost me 2,000 dirhams. Uh, as I said before, I will put down prices in dirhams and US dollars down below. After the establishment card, I applied for employment visa and it cost me 5,000 dirhams. Uh, right after that, I got a um, invitation to Emirates as a uh, working permit. I got a working permit. So once you arrive here, you have to get a stamp from the airport that you have arrived. Uh, after that, on 4th of September 2021, I went down to Dubai Media City and they applied this form on the platform. It's called IX AXS platform. Uh, you do everything in there, you pay there and you download your documents and everything in there. Uh, so uh, that's about it. After that I arrived here and I'm gonna wait for another eight uh, days and then I will get a medical checkup. After that checkup I have to buy a medical insurance. I have to apply it on that system as well. After that I will get the uh, residence card. So that residency uh, is um, valid for three years. So the good thing about that residence card, you can sponsor your children, your uh, spouses, your partners, and even your parents. Just you need to make sure you have to like prove that you are able to financially support them. Uh, you have to put down money on the deposit, you have to buy them a medical insurance as well, and you have to provide them uh, like a, an extra room. For example, me, now, if I'm alone, I can uh, rent a studio apartment, but if I'm going to bring a spouse and two children, then I need to have two extra rooms. So Dubai Media City is a very cool place for creative professionals. They're inviting freelancers in video, making video editing, journalism, uh, PR, marketing, and etc., and writers, and etc. Uh, but if you are an IT or an engineer, you can look at other free zones. I will put down uh, the article you can read through and that. So Dubai Media City is not the only place where you can get a freelance visa. So after getting that residence card, I will be able to open a bank account and to rent an apartment. And online, I found a few um, real estate agents 
and we just uh, contacted them via WhatsApp Messenger and Telegram Messenger and they showed me different options that I'm gonna look at this uh, week. The UAE, they're planning to like develop a creative cluster, bring up uh, different studios and they're inviting like media and creative companies down here. So they will need more and more freelancers in order to give them services, to provide them, to fulfill their needs. So that's why I think in my own opinion, it's a great opportunity for you freelancers all over the world to come down here. Like so far I've been here for five or six days, I think. And I really like it a lot. Uh, there's like so many different nationalities down here and there is no like superior nation uh, like in uh, Germany for example yeah they do have a lot of international people there but they have like a superior nation that's why you don't get that similar vibe that you would get here in Dubai good luck guys I hope you will um, come down here if you are planning to move and uh, just uh, leave your comments down below. I would love to read them and reply to you. Also, uh, contact me on Instagram. I'm more active on Instagram, actually. Good luck.